Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michelle Orangas from BSE English 3A. And for today's video, we'll be doing a book review um, by one of my favorite authors, Colleen Hover. Her book entitled Verity. So we'll be answering a set of questions. And yeah, please bear with me. Let's go. The first question that we have is what is the genre of this book and why do you think this book is categorized on that? So first of all, I want to say that this book is a fiction because it tells us the imagina imagination of the author. The second one, it has suspense, it has a thriller, and of course, it is a romance novel. So what do you, why am I thinking that this book is categorized on those genres? Because there are, um, it is a romance novel because there was a scene or there was there were part of the book that talks about. The sexual relationship of Lowen and Jeremy. Also, it was the suspense and thriller because um, it has been said there that um, it includes killings. Um, it it leaves us the the mark on how those twins are being killed. Number two, what are the sub formula, formula, and the motives that we can find in this novel leading to the genre of this book? So, I found out that books in suspense genre are made up of stories that stimulate pleasurable fascination and excitement mixed with apprehension in the reader. So, in the suspense genre, anxiety developed from unpredictable mystery keeps on that keeps the reader on the edge of their seat hooked into something or finding out what will happen next right, so we have question number three what is your opinion about the book discussion club so for me a book discussion club is a group of people that met either face-to-face -face or online discussion um, they're trying to to express their opinion um, dislikes or dislike or etc about the book that they have read and also they are the the group of people that try that try to to do a book review and also one thing is great about them is that they're trying to recommend a good book for you to read so question number four we got um, it's asking for my insights after watching the book discussion club and after reading the spoilers blog so in the situation of Jeremy Lowen they're actually um, doing something that that is not really acceptable in the society so um, my insights would be it's better to know first the the truth rather than um, jumping into conclusions that you might end up the result in the end and for the for variety side um, I would suggest or I have learned that it's it's better to 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 create warnings or you know put disclaimers in any any type of autobiographies or any uh, masterpieces that um, that she made because it might it might end up um, misunderstood by other people so we get question number five and it's it, it talks about your creativity so if you were to end the story how would you present your own version of it so if I were to to end the the story of Colleen Hoover's Verity um, I would end up like telling them the truth that Verity did write something for just a writing exercise so I would I would end up the story like um, making Jeremy and Lawrence regret what they're doing and also i would i would end my story with a little twist number six among the characters of the novel who do you think that we can blame verity's death so um among the characters of the story i would blame lowen and jeremy so lowen did 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 do the all the research did read all the um autobiographies of, of verity and then she found out that that on her end she found out that verity did kill their daughter and also jeremy took the side of lowen so jeremy believe that believe what you know what Lowen said that Verity killed their daughter and also 
yeah um i guess it's it's on lowen in germany that i should blame for Verdi's death.